What's up you guys, Josh Tonga here. Today I want to talk about something called the law of balance and where, believe it or not, most of your problems come from. In other words, why you sometimes get what you don't want rather than what you want. And I'll be switching things up a bit, taking a little break from Neville Goddard's work because I want to introduce you to the work of a Russian quantum physicist named Vadim Zilin who wrote this amazing book called Reality Transurfing. And honestly, I've been wanting to talk about this on my channel for the longest time, dude, because I was very impressed with how thorough and comprehensive it is in regards to conscious creating and manifesting. And so, that was the time for me to share it, folks. And if this is the first time you're hearing about reality transurfing, well, according to the author, it's basically a utilitarian model that helps you to understand how and why it's possible to control reality. So get ready for this, you guys, because just like my series on Neville Goddard, I'm going to be covering a lot of principles in transurfing in my upcoming videos that could seriously change your life. Cool? Let's do this. You see, the problem is that a lot of people are unaware of the fact that everything in life strives towards balance. You know what I'm saying? Everything in nature. For example, the changes in air temperature are balanced by wind and differences in temperature are compensated by thermal exchange. Or just think about life in general, right? There are good and bad times, the ups and downs. There's success, but there's also moments of defeat. Now, why is that? You ready? It's because of the law of balance. It's all a manifestation of the law of balance. In fact, Vadim claims that all laws of nature are secondary and are derived from this particular law. Yet you hardly ever hear anyone talking about it, including LOA teachers. Think about this for a moment. What does success and misfortune do? It destroys the balance, folks. It messes it up. So then complete balance is when nothing happens, which is why most likely absolute balance doesn't exist, or at least no one's observed it yet. But when you do find yourself in balance and in harmony with the world around you, what do you notice? Life runs a lot more smoothly and effortlessly, right? Okay, but what happens when you're not in balance and in harmony with the world around you? Here's what happens. Life becomes a battle with balancing forces. Now, what the heck does that mean? Vadim talks about something called excess potential. You see, although we live in a material world, we can forget that everything has an energetic foundation where everything that occurs on an invisible level is reflected in the visible material world. How so? By your thoughts and actions. Remember, thoughts radiate energy. And wherever there's excess potential of any energy form, he says, balance forces come into play to correct the imbalance to a place of equilibrium. Think of it this way. Excess potentials only created whenever there's too much importance given to something, to a particular object. For example, Vadim compares two types of situations. In one situation, you're standing on the floor in your house. No biggie. And in the other situation, you're standing at the edge of a really tall cliff. Now, in the first situation, you ain't worried at all. You're just standing on the floor of your house. No big deal. But in the second situation, dude, one little slip and you're freaking screwed. Boom. Splat. Yet on a purely energetic level, however, the fact that you just standing, listen closely, is of equal significance in both cases. It's just standing. But when you're standing at the edge of a cliff or whatever, obviously your fear heightens in intensity and it creates what? An imbalance. So then what happens? Balancing forces come in to neutralize and eliminate the excess potential. I'm sure you felt this before too, like when you're way up high on the edge of a cliff or on the rooftop of a building where you peek over and you look down, all of a sudden you literally feel this inexplicable force pull you downwards. Yet, there's this other force pulling you back. That's balanced forces at work, you guys, trying to eliminate the excess potential of your fear to correct the imbalance. Because on an energetic level, Vadim says that all material objects are pretty much of equal significance and that it's us who attribute specific qualities to things such as good and bad, happy and sad, attractive and ugly, kind and wicked, simple and complex, etc. In other words, everything in this world is subject to our assessment, but the assessment itself isn't the problem that creates the imbalance. It's like this. He says that you can assess that it's safe to sit in an armchair at home but that it's dangerous to stand at the edge of a cliff. And at that moment of making the assessment, the situation doesn't phase you. And so the balance isn't disturbed. But 
and this is what makes all the difference. Excess potential only appears when the level of importance you attribute to something is, listen, excessive. Excessive, where you give it huge value and great meaning. Then there's imbalance. Why? Because the bias distorts reality, folks, in the sense that you can excessively attribute either negative or positive qualities to something that isn't even there. An example he gives is like when you're being super critical of yourself, right? You end up coming into conflict with your soul. It's excessive, and therefore it creates an imbalance. Then what happens? Balancing forces come in and make you struggle with your shortcomings and try to hide them, but then they end up standing out even more. And I see you nodding your head. I'm just joking. Or when people get super cocky and proud and they think they're the issue, you know what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time, dude, before they get humbled if they don't put themselves in check. Or what about those who work way too much because they're placing too much importance on their job, even if their motives are pure of just wanting to provide for their family? Now, if you were to look at it from a point of view of scales and balance, he says, then it's obvious that if you immerse yourself so heavily into your work, the balance is going to be destroyed, which means what? There's going to be consequences. And I'm sure we've all seen this happen many, many times, whether it was with us or with other people, where you end up getting the exact opposite of what you expected. And other things begin to suffer, like your health, you get sick, relationships get neglected, you start suffering from depression because you're so stinking hard on yourself all the time. And when all this shit's happening, you might even feel like the whole world's against you or that some dark force has some sort of grip on your life or whatever. But now you know the real reason why people get what they don't want rather than what they do want. Can you relate? Now, understand this in context. Vadim's not saying that you should never work hard or put in a little more effort at times when you're doing certain things. Okay, trust me. I know what it's like to go all in and work a lot of hours in a day on something that you love to do. But like with everything in life, there should be balance, you guys. So if you do totally immerse yourself in something, he says it's only justified from the point of view of balance if it's connected to your personal goal. And I'll talk more about personal versus borrowed goals in the future. But anyway, here's the difference. When you do something you love, that coincides with your personal goal. Not with someone else's goal, but your goal. The Vadim says it can serve as a tunnel that leads to success. Why? Because it's a kind of work that actually nourishes your energy and brings you joy and inspiration and fulfillment. And if that's the case, you got nothing to worry about. But here's the thing. If you're always thinking tired, and just completely exhausted all the time, he's saying, yo, slow down a bit, just chill, or even look for a different job. But either way, the point is that when too much effort's being made beyond measure, it'll eventually kick you in the butt. And I know someone can be like, look, Josh, it's natural to have problems in this life. It's how we grow. And yeah, I get that to some degree. But in reality, you got to realize that there will definitely be less problems in your life when you learn how to relax more and decrease the importance of things. All right, real talk. Now, there are some of you hearing about this law of balance and balancing forces for the very first time, and you're like, dude, this makes a lot of sense. And it did for me when I first heard it. Because you and I know, based on our experiences, that it's true. And I can think of countless situations where this played out even in my own life. So once again, if you're placing too much importance on something, on anything, and you're trying really, really hard to get it, trust me, you're going to end up getting the exact opposite of what you want. And your goal, your desire, is going to get further and further away from you. Whether it be money, a particular person, or your health, whatever it is, I encourage you to take a step back and to consciously reevaluate your relationship to it. Have you gone obsessed with it where you've attributed too much significance? If so, then detach yourself, not from your desire, okay? Because that's a mistake I see a lot of people make, and even some LOA people teach that. Now, did you don't detach from your desire? But you learn to relax for a bit, you guys. Don't take life so seriously all the time and push too hard. You know what I'm saying? Laugh more. Play more. Have fun, for goodness sake. Look, Vadim says to give up your head and hands, but don't give away your heart. Define your worth and don't try to overcome obstacles, he says. Instead, reduce the importance of things and check this out. The obstacle will remove itself and the problem will be solved of its own accord because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, just a heads up. I'm working on something right now for you that'll really help build up this community we got going on here where we'll be able to connect even more and I'll be releasing it in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. And yo, if you enjoyed this, please do me a favor, like and share. Or if you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. It gets more people to discover my work and of course help spread this message. 
And I'd love to hear your experiences or questions in the comments below. Share some stories that can relate to what I just shared. Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I dive deeper into how you can start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.